Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well before I get into today's deck I just want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. You all mean so much to us. This has been a blast so far and I don't see that ending anytime soon. So I just want to let everybody know if you haven't heard already we are going to be having an amazing fun YouTube live party where we're giving away all kinds of prizes. What day is that you might ask? I don't know. I don't know. And why don't I know? It's because as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, we will be announcing the date of said YouTube live party. I cannot wait. So please like, rate, subscribe, do everything you can, share this video so that we can jump up to 500 subscribers and give away a couple hundred dollars in prizes to you, our subscribers. So what are we playing today? We are playing Big Green Stuff. What do I mean by that? What do you mean you're playing big green stuff? Well, I mean I'm playing big green stuff. So, okay. How are we playing all this big green stuff? We're ramping. So first off, we have, to me, one of the best openers you can have with this particular deck. The best opener you can have is turn one, Gilded Goose, into a turn two, Migratory Great Horn. So you're going to use the token that you get from the Gilded Goose on turn one, and then get yourself a 3-4 flyer, so at the end of turn two, if everything goes right, you have three land on the board and a three, four flyer. I mean, that is absolutely bonkers if that lands. And that's why I went from three Gilded Gooses and two Migratory Great Horns in the deck when I was first playtesting this to four, four. And when I say playtesting this, this is 100% out of my crazy mind. I didn't see this anywhere else, but it was inspired by none other than Brewmaster Will. I asked him for a deck that was a go big green deck. He sent me a list and I just modified it in ways that just suited my play style. So this is what we came up with. So anyways, so we've got that ideal turn one into turn two that I was talking about. And then we have our mana ramp section. So we have four Wolf Willow Havens. We have three Cultivates. We have two Migratory Paths, which if you have nothing better to do on turn three, yeah, I said turn three because you can cast this on turn three with the way the deck works, whether it's in a Gilded Goose or a Wolf Willow Haven, you can make it happen. And then after that, you have, uh, so three, four, five, your next turn you untap you throw a land you're at six land on turn four and you can just do crazy things and then we have two copies of beanstalk giant which is a mana ramp but it's also a big old giant creature that could be over here if we want but i'm gonna leave it over here because we just have so many giant creatures in the deck it's uh it's getting a little out of control what do we got we have a whole bunch of diversity we have two ashea soul of the wilds which is amazing in the deck because you're going to be ramping and this is going to get big quick and it's also going to make all of your creatures lands forests but that's not the point the point is lands so that makes it to where a whole lot of different um removal spells out there can't affect any of these creatures finding the old gods skyclave apparition there's all these different things that can't affect your creatures once you have this on the board we have two battle mammoths because now whenever any of your creatures get targeted you're going to be able to draw a card we have two elder gargross in the deck because vigilance because reach because trample because whenever it blocks or attacks you get to create either a three three gain three life draw a card i see why it's mythic that's a pretty amazing card we've got two vorinclexes because six six trample and haste um we don't have a whole lot to do with the other stuff on this other than we we do get multiple triggers off of our great henge um off of boring clicks but other than that if our opponent has something going on we shut them down but that's that's enough synergy for me i don't know kogla uh i don't know a seven six that fights a creature when you come into play and then whenever it attacks destroys an ember cleave destroys a great henge destroys a bastion destroys a whatever your opponent has that's an artifact or enchantment that's bothering you we've got two copies of crag plate Balith, I mean, it's hexproof. It's haste. It can't be countered. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Or if you pay enough mana, which we easily can with this deck, it's a 10-10. Disgusting. And then we've got Thorn Mammoth, which is a 6-6 six, six with Trample. And then whenever this or any other creature, not just this Cogla up here now, comes into play, we fight a creature and we usually kill it uh, and then from there we have three copies of the great henge because when you're going this big especially with this creature package when you're ramping super big when you throw one of these down uh, you're either going to throw this next turn for two or they're going to kill that creature that turn the next turn you throw another creature another land you're probably throwing this 
for two mana that exact same turn so in a lot of cases you're getting this out on turns you know six turn seven and then you're just getting all kinds of draw out of it and then we've got four castles because everything in the deck is pretty much creatures so you're gonna get a whole lot of benefit out of that castle uh Garenbrith. So that's why we have four of them. And then 24 is for a total of 24 lands with all this ramp. It is going to get out of control quick and you are going to be doing big things fast. So against mono red and mono white going super fast, you definitely want to try to mulligan aggressively at least down to six to try to find a gilded goose, at least to try to block or migratory great horn. Um, other than that, if you, if you go turn, if you can go turn to wolf willow into a turn three, uh, migratory path into a turn um, four. I'm pretty sure you could do a battle mammoth, an elder guard, anything at that point with how much man mana you have on the board. You might be able to slow them down. And if they're not going that fast, like mono red, then you're probably or even mono white. You're probably fine. You'll stabilize if they're um, you know like a Yorion deck. You're going to have so much threats late game. You just throw one at a time because the clock is so fast with any of these creatures that against a Yorion deck, you throw down one big, huge threat. Even if you have multiples in your hand at a time, you throw one down at a time and make them choose either a single card elimination or a, you know, make them uh, extinction event if they have to make them. If they're white, uh, Shadow of the Sky, uh, Doom Scar, they're not going to be able to really get any value out of Shadow's Verdict in this deck. But don't throw a whole bunch of creatures down against a deck that you know can wipe the whole board. You've got these huge, huge clocks, huge clocks all day long. Take them to your event, just one at a time, clock them clock them and just keep going at them so the deck is a lot of fun you got to ramp you got to you got to pick the hand wisely based on your opponent which is kind of tough to do because you know you have to judge whether or not they're going to be a fast deck which if they're not showing a, a companion at all they're probably going to be fast or mid-range and if they are showing a companion they're going to tell you if they're cycling if they're fast if they're rogues or if they're a yorion deck so I think it's time to get into the gameplay and show you exactly what it can do, but don't forget that we are going to be giving away all kinds of prizes as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. So please smash that subscribe button and let your friends know all about us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Drago. Hello, Drago. Like vampire's name. Hello, Drago. One of goes first with Jangtha, the whale. Okay, so we have three lands, two ghosts, a wolf willow, and a kogla. We'll keep it. We got a little ramp. We got a little some some. I would like more ramp, but some ramp. Oh, okay. I'm playing Bastion. Boom. Okay. Gilded Goose, turn one. Uh, turn two, we could go Goose, Wolf Willow, or Cultivate. We blocked the Y Twitch. Okay, so let's go with the other forest. And let's cultivate. Hold on. Cultivate. This turn, if I. No, wait. If I go Wolf Willow, then we might as well just throw another goose. But, anyways, yeah, so now next turn I can go Elder Gargaroth. They might have removal. Elspers Nightmare. Okay, well, the, maybe I just ramp up now, just so they don't get my Cultivate, and then I'll do these later. I mean, they'll know about them, but hey, whatever. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's auto pay. I'm not gonna worry about that. They can have the. They can have that. Let's put that into play. We'll fight this. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Send it on its way. <laughs> Take a gogla. It doesn't destroy the Elspeth's Nightmare in time, but hey. They get to see our hand. They rip out our Cultivate. We can Elder Gargroth next turn regardless. If they have a removal. I don't think they'll be able to remove both things. They went Mascot Exhibition. Okay. By Cultivate. I feel like a 7-6 on the board was better than a little bit extra land, especially considering next turn where we can fire up naturally the castle every turn. And they can't really steal our st Oh, they're, okay, they're playing the Crowan version. Of course they are. <laughs> okay, okay. So that doesn't have reach. So let's throw this. I don't want to lose this. Let's, uh, let's uh, put this up on here. Let's put that over. And let's 
grab a green. This doesn't kill it when we attack. Let's attack. We're going to take seven. That's that's happening. They'll probably plummet or something. They'll have a way to sacrifice it. A crow and war, man. I know this deck. I love this deck. It only runs one or two of crow and wars. And they have it against our Kogla. Get out of town. <laughs> Okay. No, our opponent's not happy about something. They give us the old rope treatment. That's okay. Um, so we have to attack if possible. It's not possible for me to attack with this. So let's uh, let's uh, first off, let's swing. We got stuff. We has to swing. Let's throw that. Let's throw that. And ship it back. I don't know why they didn't attack. That doesn't make sense to me, but. I mean, if they have extinction event, what do we got? Even, I don't know why they would. Even, even, odd, even. Ooh, I mean, I'll keep the, I'll keep a Gargroth. I, extinction event on odd. I'll take it. Don't think they have it. Don't think they're playing it. If they have Shadow's Verdict, we say, ha ha ha. <laughs> Shadow's Verdict away. Uh, they can't mascot anytime soon. Um, I think what we've got here is a uh, Drago is more like a Drago. And he's going to, they are going to rope us out here. All we have is a Migratory Greathorn, a Kogla, an Elder Gargroth, and a Gilded Goose on the board. I don't know what their problem is. Boom! Good game. T2 bin? I don't know. Hello, opponent. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, they go first. They have the new commander that hasn't been played in forever that everybody's playing now so it must be out on the i haven't seen it yet i'm usually up on these things they said hello we say hello but i mean i have seen this multiple times today i have never seen that okay we'll go green go okay let's go green into wolf willow next uh, so next we'll have four of them their lands so let's go four lands and we'll just beanstalk they could neutralize they could saw it coming okay we've got something that's holding us up not sure what what you got what you up what you got one two three four okay um, I don't know why I wouldn't throw the castle at this point. Uh, da, 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 dun, dun. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I can throw this on here. And then we can also still do this. And go into one of these. They are going to counter said ash, y'all. But that is why I cast first. Beanstalk is going to be big. Maybe I should have gone... Well, I can't do beanstalk this turn. I didn't have that kind of mana. Oh, okay. Ashea is on the board. So they're going to have the board white now? Unless, well, I guess there are kill creature that doesn't say non-creature. So, yeah. Like Heartless Act and all that. It doesn't matter if it's a land. Because Ashea does count as a land. It is a forest. Legendary creature land elemental forest. So, uh, they're not playing green, but binding the old gods can't touch it. Yada, yada, etc. 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 What do you have for me, the mere snow? <laughs> That's five of them. One more, and they can snow on the blood. So if they don't kill the Ashea, dang it! I wanted. I mean, we can Great Henge pretty much here. We can go like this, and it's only seven, huh? So, I'm, I'll throw a Beanstalk Giant. I'll throw a Goose. I I, I would have got more from this, but I can't use this to get into a Henge. Only activated abilities and creature spells. So if they don't kill both of these, ho they're, hopefully they're going to kill the Beanstalk. So that I can throw no matter what. I mean, I don't want to throw the Beanstalk. Not hopefully. But <laughs> at least then I can just hard cast the Great Henge. Oh, there we go. Well, we have two great hinges, so if they counter one, the other one goes off. So let's do it. Resolve. 
Counters. There's no way. It's gonna say there is no way. Let's get in there. I could have casted as a creature and drawn a card. Maybe that was the better way to go. Well, now it's just okay. Now it just. Oh, the great. <laughs> okay. I know you don't have a counter spell, so unless you top deck one. Take 10. <laughs> I mean, it already did its job. Why would you bounce that and not one of these? People are too afraid of the wrong. And if they have a counter spell in their hand, then good for them. Then I misread that. Maybe. Maybe they have another neutralized and they couldn't do it last turn, so. I see. I, I see. I see. I'm just going to not throw this, swing with both of these, and then I can pop these if they kill the. You know, like, we'll just. We'll go tit for tat. I mean, I can hard cast this. What you got? <laughs> what you got? You, you, you had that in your hand, and you, you roped me that long for that? Man, you're a, come on, man, come on, man. Let's uh, fire this up, and uh, let's start with the Gilded Goose. I want to see if we have a pause. Oh, we do have a pause. Hello, we have a pause. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three, five, yeah, let's... Get you out. Put you over. Get us a green out. And we still have six. Um, Let's see if they got it. They got a counter spell, they counter the elder. And then we have a huge beanstalk. Okay, they know. Tempo only works for so long, my friend. Maybe they'll wipe our board now with a, I don't know, Snow's Verdict, or was it Blood on the Snow? Snow's Verdict. <laughs> Extinction of Snow on the Blood. I've got a lot of mana. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're going in with the Beanstalk. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, hold on. Let's throw that up in the air. Which means I have plenty to still go like this. Let's grab a green. Let's throw this. That's plenty. Now I can still throw that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. He, can't. he won't stop doing stuff. That's it. Let's get one of those. Some of that. We get one of those. We get a little of that. Okay. So we, we what do we do? We, we threw out a land. We bean or we bean stocked on fertile footsteps. Then we threw the bean stock, led us into the great henge, into a gilded goose, and then drew an Ashea. <laughs> Woo! Don't do it, man. <laughs> it's a hand and a half. But you got opponent. There's another green. I'm just gonna swing. I'm not putting anything out on the board at this point. Like, can you kill one? Eliminate my little gilded goose, do you? Okay. I still win. Got him. Okay. Big and girls. Hello, opponent. <laughs> how are you they go first they're not showing jack and nathan i bet you they're mono red um we can't do anything for a long time we have to mulligan okay goose isn't horrible henge gets way cheaper before the thorn mammoth so we ditch the henge i mean the thorn mammoth keep the henge mono blue hey hey what the Magic Shuffler is so broke. There's only two of you in deck. I shuffled you away. You're telling me. One, two, one, two. Go ahead, opponent. Fifty percent mana ram deck. One mana ramp. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you hit luck. Thank you, MTG gods. I, I started to doubt you. And you said, we like you, son. Restore your faith. 
<laughs> so they are a Wu Brig. Probably going into a prismatic bridge. Which means we really need to find our Kogla. Or is it uh, our. Yeah, our Kogla. We need our Kogla like yesterday. Um, I love that we have no six drops when we have a castle in our hand. It's only our bigger drops. Ah, uh, that's ridiculous, this deck. Um, let's just, yeah, we, we want pressure on the board. It's not worth waiting one more turn, because next turn I can go six plus this seven, plus this shows us they have a counter spell, sock coming, they can sock disdainful stroke. So this is a sock coming, or I we need them to throw something. Is this a nest deck? This is a Titan's nest. Um, so let's throw this. Let's activate you. They're gonna. Oh wait, this can't be countered. Let's let them play with that. It's hexproof and can't be countered. Boop. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting those apples. I mean, they can board wipe, but they have to board wipe next turn for a single creature, and then we go Thorn Mammoth. Take that opponent. <laughs> They're like, what is our SAR coming matter if we can't counter this thing? Board wipe. So is this Doom Scar? They have a shutter in the sky. If they pass a turn, they can't have any of that. Oh, they are making a token. They're tokening up on me hard. Um, so I'm showing seven to make it what six, seven, eight, 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 five, six, seven. I think it's better to get the hedge down. Um, but I can't, yeah, I'm gonna attack. That happened pretty quick. Gilded Goose. Okay, I think they have a counter spell still, so I'm not gonna cast the Great Henge. So if they can counter this, then they counter this. I want that counter gone. There it is. Okay. Woo! Played you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They had to. They had to. Doom Scar. Nice. Nice. So it was a Doom Scar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, nice. I prefer <sighs> a peaceful resolution. Yeah, no. But I'll fight if I'm. Many paths lie before me. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Whew, had to be patient. Beanstalk giant, great hands. What you got, my opponent? <laughs> you have a way to kill my great hands. I see you hovering it over it. Oh, rip apart. Strong, powerful. Yep. To they do open that. Mind, you must first open the heart. Minus six to get an emblem with one of you guys. So I have to run into that. I mean, hopefully they can't kill my beanstalk. They're doing stuff, but I have to run. I can't let them have this emblem. Okay, well. Boom, give rid of that. Nah, I mean, they, they were on a two turn clock, but if they Alas, could, if they wipe this, there's no point. So, we're at 22, they're at 12. They couldn't kill this last turn. Hopefully they can't kill it this turn. Here we go, here we go. Juice! Okay, so the last time they wiped the board, I, there's, I'm not throwing that until there's a... Re yeah, I already have the game one with just this. If they have another board wipe, I'm not throwing... I'm not going to walk into it. <laughs> we saw that once. We ain't doing it twice. Shame. You, did, you fooled me once. Shame on me. Shame me. Fool, fool me twice. Uh, shame on you. You can't fool me twice. <laughs> and that's a dated reference. If you're one of the younger folk watching, I apologize. George Bush. Um... So this doesn't have trample, so that's disappointing. So whatever that is. 
Okay, we're now we have to do stuff. So we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it well. We're doing it. We're... Gotta get some trample in there. Oh, I thought they were gonna have something. Good game. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for big green stuff. And so, I mean, it it, it does what it does, and uh, it does it well. I'm not gonna lie. You know, you're gonna put out a lot of land. You're gonna put out a lot of big creatures. If they can stop that game plan, you're going to lose, but that's the case with any deck that you play. And so why not play something that's a little bit different, that's a super blast to play? And that's exactly what this deck is. Now, you could change things if you wanted to. I like it how it is. It's super fun to me. But, but what kind of changes would you do? I'm not touching these great henges. Let's put these over here with the land. Not touching that. I'm not touching these Gilded Gooses or these Migratory Great Horns. I think those are both amazing. The Beanstalk Giants, not touching them. You can manipulate the counts if you wanted to and go up to three or four. I wouldn't drop less than two. I don't want to remove any of this. So uh, if you wanted to, once again, you can manipulate the numbers. Maybe you want three of these, four of these, three of these, four. Who knows? The only changes I would make is manipulate some of these numbers. And these are the creatures I like, and I want a diverse amount of creatures in the deck. So I've got all kinds of different things, doing all kinds of different spells. It gives me a little bit of a mono green toolbox fill, if you will. And so these are the creatures I have chosen. The one that I like the least, if I was going to take out and call a flex, would probably be a Shea. But, I mean, that's just maybe because I didn't run against that deck that had those removals where Ashea said, no, you can't do that. And then I would love Ashea. So maybe that's a mistake, but you know what? Do me a favor. Let us know down in the comments what you thought of the deck. Did you change it up at all? Are there some creatures you think were much more beneficial for the deck? Is there anything that you think we missed with the deck? Let us know. So give us a comment, rate this video, subscribe, please share it to someone. And as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, we have got a whole lot of fun in store. We're going to go live on YouTube and do all kinds of fun stuff for a really fun live party. So thank you all so much if you're already a subscriber. If you aren't, thank you so much if you just smash that button. And until next time, as always, have a blast in the arena.